Hi guys, in this video we will configure Swagger to the Spring Boot project. For that we will create one new project and we will add Swagger related dependencies. So here I am creating one project. From here I am adding only web dependency because we need to access the rest endpoints from the Swagger UI. And somehow we can't add Swagger related dependencies. We need to add them manually. So we will add. And the project is created so here before doing swagger related configuration we will add one rest endpoint and we will access that endpoint by browser after that we will access the same endpoint from the swagger ui so for that here i'm adding one controller class let's name it hello controller you can name anything And here I'm adding one endpoint method. Just for testing purpose, I'm doing like this. You can write anything. It will return hello. And method type is get. So we added this endpoint, we will access this endpoint from the browser. Okay, the application is running up on the 808 port number. So let's access that 808. So here just for convenient let me change the package names rerunning the application let's refresh so here uh, we are able to see hello message so we will access this endpoint from the swagger ui so for that for the palm.xml uh, we need to add the two dependencies so we will add these two dependencies and uh, i will add these two dependencies in the video description also if you want you can add and otherwise you can find them from the maven repository also We added that so from the main class also uh, we can do the java related configuration otherwise you can create another class like swagger configuration but for me i'm doing here here only so just i'm adding one annotation that is we need to enable the swagger enable swagger 2 and uh, we need to add one method here that method will return the docket with swagger related information so let's add one method public it will return docket And here just selecting the builders and here we need to select the APIs okay so for the APIs uh, there will be request handlers
request handler selectors will be there from the selectors we need to uh, add any or we need to add the base package so i am doing i am selecting base package our base package is com the demo and at the end just invoke build method okay so just we added this method and just rerun the application okay it's getting bootstrap plugin starter error i guess which is coming due to a uh, spring boot version so our current spring boot version is 2.7.3 uh, but for swagger which is not supporting so we will go with uh, previous versions let's go with 2.5.9 r6 just rerun okay which is running up on the 808 port number so uh, let me access the swagger ui there will be swagger ui dot html swagger ui hyphen ui dot html so this is the swagger ui for now we have only one controller class that is hello controller so we are able to see this only one class if you add two more controllers or you will see all those controllers from here and just click on list operations we have only one method and that is one rest endpoint so we are able to see that just click on it to hit that endpoint just click on try out so you will see the response message in the response body so similarly if you add multiple rest endpoints you will see here and you can add must multiple rest controllers also Okay, yeah, that's it about adding the swagger to the spring boot.